Soup's on. That soup or bowl. Fired up. Here we are from the birthplace of American barbecue. It's a beautiful day in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. It actually is for January. Heck yeah, I mean, we're out here, shirt sleeves. Bill's got his coat on. I think he should probably take that off. But what the heck? Good Super Bowl weather. Yeah, um, you know, the Super Bowl is coming up. It's right around the corner. And uh, I think one of the great things to make for Super Bowl would be soup. A lot of people are doing that now. That's kind of one of the things. So today, what would be a barbecue soup, if you could say? You know, in South Carolina, we normally make a dish called hash. And hash is something that is a leftover kind of thing. But we're going to go ahead and make what we call Brunswick stew, which is very much a southern dish. So it's probably a good idea that we make something that's a little more, hash is indigenous to South Carolina, but we're going to make something that's a little more southeastern than it is. Do you know where the name Brunswick stew came from? I'm sure that if we got back into it, it has something to do with Brunswick, Georgia. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And we've got, in South Carolina, we got some things, Frogmore stew, which is just outside of Beaufort, Beaufort same kind of thing. Right. So that's, uh, we got, by the way, three-time South Carolina state champion, Jack Waybor is here. I'm Bill West with barbecuetricks.com. If you have questions, emails, or great plate photos, email them to us at bill at greattv.com or jack at greattv.com. How do we start? Something really exciting happened this week on the Facebook page. Bill, did you happen to notice we went over 2,000 likes? So now it's on to 3,000. Now it's on to 3,000 we're gonna go like crazy. All right, so we're gonna kind of do this the way we normally do it. I'll grab a, a spoon here. We're gonna go ahead and sweat down some onion first. So we get our butter into the into the pot and then we'll go ahead and let that do its thing. And we'll throw the onions in here just to get these things translucent. Now we, we're using cast iron today and we're outdoors. So we're still kind of fitting into the uh, outdoor um, theme that we going on that we mm -hmm. have going on on a regular basis. When you're in the restaurant business and you have a barbecue joint, or if you're in any kind of a business, you want to use everything. If if you're throwing something away, anything in the trash can is money lost. So what a lot of places do is they'll make a soup or a stew and they'll have it as a side dish, usually served over rice. Uh, Brunswick stew can be served over rice. Um, a lot of times they'll have potato involved, but you can take all the things that are in the um, in the restaurant itself that's left over beef, pork, chicken, um, you, they'll, they'll take the ribs down or do whatever they're going to do and then they'll go ahead and make a soup out of it and this helps, this allows them to at least get something out of the leftovers. As a restaurant tour, you want to make sure that you're cooking fresh things all the time um, and as fresh as you can make it is really what it's all about. So we want to make sure that we're cooking a chicken every day. Well, what do you do with the leftover chicken? Well, you got to make something out of it. This is just a great way to do it. So this is like a hash, this is like a, a hash soup it's for it's people a, who aren't familiar with it. Yeah, it's a it's a stew, a soup, whatever you want to call it. And of course, uh, like you said earlier, a super bowl is a good time and you can make a lot of it. Um, and you can uh, certainly do a lot of things and feed a lot of people with, with the stuff that you got. So once your onions get kind of kind of translucent and everything's moving along down the line and, and we're looking pretty good here as far as it goes everything is frying along nicely then we'll go ahead and we'll start adding the meat ingredients so if you hand me let's uh, let's put the chicken in first stir that in there a little bit and then there you go let's put in the pork and we're going to use pulled pork that's beef there's pulled pork right here and we're just going to use regular old pulled pork and that goes in there. We'll get that kind of going along real good. And then we'll add some beef. So we got chicken, pork, and beef, all leftovers as far as the restaurant tour will be concerned. And certainly if you don't want to use um, meat that's already cooked up, you can. I would suggest that you put that in there early, um, get it browned off with the onions and make it all good. But I like, this is a, a leftover dish, so I'm going to use leftover stuff that I just kind of had sitting around in the in the freezer so we let the, get that going mix it up good and then we'll start adding our liquid ingredients let's go ahead and put in vinegar oh good one bill we'll spill it and then we'll add a tomato product let's put in the crushed tomatoes first that's tomato paste got it We'll put in some tomato paste. 
How long have you been doing this recipe? Oh, I've been doing this a while. This this recipe actually came to me from a fellow named Jim Morgan out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and it is a great Brunswick stew recipe. And we appreciate Jim for everything that he does in the barbecue world, and he'll be happy that we called his name. That's darn sure. That's awesome. That is awesome. You could do, and, and I'm surely a lot of the stuff you can just mix and match and experiment. Sure. Um, I see okra every once in a while. Okra, and... okra makes things more of a gumbo than it does a stew. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll put the lemon juice in. This is lemon juice. And let's go ahead and put the cans of, uh, of, oh, yeah. of lima beans in. And we'll season it at the end. So we have lima beans, and you can use uh, canned lima beans, or you can use fresh or uh, frozen. If you're going to use them fresh, you're going to want them to sit in here for a little while and let this... Uh, kind of simmer so they're fresh this is a can of cream corn regular old cream corn and then we'll go ahead and let's throw the uh the texas peat and the worcestershire sauce in next and i'll tell you what we need to do is we need to get some water okay so we'll put a couple of dashes of texas peat in there because well that's just hot sauce of any kind will do fine uh three the recipe calls for an ounce and it calls for about an ounce of worcestershire sauce and those are just good things to have around and we're going to add some water to it, and we just want to add the water to it because we want to make this a soup, and we want to make it thin as we can. So we're going to actually do what they call cover it with water. So we'll put a, do we fill up the can of tomato product with water so we get all that, and then we'll add just a little bit more until we're floating. And you can see right there that we're that's that's pretty darn good right Could there. Could you use beer? Let's see why not. Here, let's add some, and we'll find out. From the birthplace of American beer. <laughs> Show us about a beer in length. <laughs> All right, so we got a nice little stew going on here, a nice little soup. Let's go ahead and add the seasonings, Bill. We'll put in the uh, salt and pepper. All right, did I get the right one? Yeah. You I was can asking, how do you tell the difference between the sugar and the salt? Salt, pepper, that's a quarter cup of, that's uh, three tablespoons of coarse ground black pepper and some salt. This is about a quarter of a cup of sugar. And we're going to heat it up a little bit more with some red pepper flakes. And if you're trying to jot all this down furiously, don't worry about it. We're going to put it at greattv.com and use the search word Brunswick Stew. Brunswick Stew. We'll mix that all up in there real good. And we're going to let this simmer. And you want to keep some water handy because I think that's about the right texture right there, Bill, as far as Brunswick Stew goes. So you're going to want to keep some water around while that simmers and make sure that it doesn't boil out. That looks exactly like any Brunswick stew I've ever had. But, and how much Brunswick stew have you had? I have had a bunch. You know, you travel Georgia much more than I do. I'm a, I'm a South Carolina hash guy, but this is an awesome looking Brunswick stew. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, let that simmer for about an hour. While it's coming down, let's take a look at a great plate or two. Great plates. So when you go to the website and you submit us a great plate, you can see it there or click on the link that says submit great plates to send us yours. Just like this guy did right here, Sammy Schuford. Sammy. Look at it. It's a batch of, you know, looks like two dozen or a dozen or so. Chicken thighs. Uh, chicken thighs like on the UDS, the Ugly Drum Smoker. The ugly Drum Smoker. Sammy is an avid Ugly Drum Smoker user, and his is a wonderful looking piece right there. That looks great, doesn't it? It looks nice. Why would he do it all around the circumference of the uh, grill there? He probably uh, has the charcoal, the fire in the middle of it, of that particular cooker, and he just wants to use the outside. So remember, if you got a great plate, send it our way. You can also email it real easy, bill at greattv.com or jack at greattv.com. All right, Bill, we've let this sit for, you know, right about an hour, let it simmer on low, and we're still outside, which is a great thing. Um, I think it's time we go ahead and uh, try a little bit of this. We've we got bowls. All right. Let's go ahead and... I mean, is there anything you're looking for? You just want it to, to meld a little bit? Yeah, we want it cook to... Cook down? You just want those, uh, those flavors to get together and marry up a little bit and... And some nice uh, stew for our soup herbal party. Brunswick stew that we're calling Brunswick soup herbal. Impress your friends, make it all happen. With a, a coastal Georgia Carolina favorite. You get the big spoon. You get the big spoon. Fuck you, man. I like. There's a lot of pepper in there. Mm, that is fantastic. It's, it's authentic as I've ever seen it. Mm -hmm. It's got a great consistency to it, real good flavor. The recipe will be posted up on the, uh, on the website under Jack's Place in the blog. Get to it. Get right to it. And uh, also check out Taste Made on YouTube because they are doing a lot of Super Bowl soup recipes. Yeah, I'm sure you can, uh, you can catch us pretty much all around, Outdoor Cooking Channel, Taste Made. All day Sunday, outdoor, OutdoorCookingChannel.com. Hey, 
Buy local, think global, stay sustainable on every chance you get. Hug your mama. That's good stuff. Mm. Yummy.